And does he? He wanted to know what the CIA had on him. He tortured my men in front of me. Thought I'd break. Left me in there for weeks. What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite and the goaded data miners strike again. We have some groundbreaking information about Sergeant Frank Woods coming as an operator within season five of Modern Warfare. We also have a ton of information about the next in-game cutscene, the Call of Duty 2020 crossover, and more information about an extra season that was just ordered for Modern Warfare. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because about 75% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So make sure you guys are getting notifications every time I update you on Call of Duty 2020, Modern Warfare Season 5, and of course, Warzone. I also offer memberships here on my channel, and the highest membership option does grant you access to free merch, exclusive intel, and an early look at some of my upcoming bangers for the next few weeks. More information about memberships is down below when you hit the join button. But the data mining group known as the Gaming Vanguard recently found a ton of information about Season 5 for Modern Warfare with the release of season four reloaded just the other night first off they found operator underscore unlock underscore woods it will be a bundle within the in-game store for modern warfare so this is our first major crossover from the files between both black ops and modern warfare and it really gets me thinking is this connected to the intel that was also found just the other day for season four in modern warfare that reads as follows the bunkers are opening it is almost time the shadows are here, we expected this. And the prisoner, what do we do with him? Put him in the spire box, let him rot. Is the prisoner a character from the Black Ops universe? Could it be Wood somehow? Will we see an old man Mason inside of the box, right? Is this what that cutscene from Specialist Stories was referring to when Woods tells Mason that he was the one in the box, right? We all thought that that cutscene alone was hinting at the future of the Black Ops franchise. And that's, of course, if the next Black Ops game is like a soft reboot of some sort taking place in a parallel universe to the original Black Ops games. We don't know, but as I've gone over many times before in the past, Modern Warfare is really leading towards a huge crossover between both Black Ops and Modern Warfare to where both storylines take place in the same timeline and essentially the new Modern Warfare is some type of sequel to whatever storyline Treyarch is going to be telling in the past with Black Ops Cold War. So it also lines up perfectly with what Exclusive Ace was recently saying not too long ago that Verdance is going to be getting a big big Call of Duty 2020 update, a new map taking place in Russia, and again, there are so many questions as to how it's going to work in terms of weapons and operators, create a class, we'll have to wait and see how Warzone gets revamped, but it does seem like there are a lot of hints pointing towards Black Ops crossovers inside of Warzone, but... Besides that too, TGR and I actually heard, I want to say it was well over a month ago, that Woods was apparently in the files for Modern Warfare. And the weird thing about that, right, was that this is when I think Leviathan came out, the custom zombies map on the Steam Workshop. We had heard that there was a character in the files being referred to as Woods, but his first name was different or something. We didn't really know what to think of it at the time. We were like, oh, what if it's a coincidence that somebody's named Woods in the Modern Warfare universe? But now that we're seeing more and more information from different data miners, it does seem like it is the iconic Sergeant Frank Woods coming with Season 5. We also have the AN-94 Assault Rifle, an iconic weapon from the Black Ops universe that is also supposed to be coming to Modern Warfare with Season 5, which I just covered in a video about a week and a half ago too. We already have the Galil, and it's a modern version of that weapon in the game right now, so it seems like we're going to be getting a newer version of the AN-94 as well in Modern Warfare at some point in time. So it does seem like a lot of Call of Duty 2020 content is slowly coming to Warzone, you know, over the next few weeks. The bunkers are opening soon too, so it seems like that live event may in fact be what opens up Season 5, right? Season 5 could be fully focused on Call of Duty 2020, really expanding that crossover storyline and, you know, sort of establishing that both games take place in the same timeline now. We also have other information about an extra season of content coming to Modern Warfare, which, funny enough, TGR actually heard about, I want to say well over a month ago. He was told that an extra season of content 
was ordered for the game, which led us to believe that Call of Duty 2020 may in fact be delayed because of it, but this was kind of before we started hearing the initial rumors from Long Sensation and other insiders that the game wasn't going so well and the delay could be pushed back to like late July or August, so we didn't know what to think at the time. But now looking at the fact that Season 7 is in the files for the game, it you know raises so many questions, right? What does this mean for Call of Duty 2020? What does it mean for the delay? You know, how would the season even work? Will Season 5, 6, and 7 be shorter than usual? Because if you do the math, right, you look at how long each season really is, Season 7 wouldn't technically start until at some point in December, which would last until like February or so. So will the season be shorter than usual? Or, you know, will Modern Warfare be getting consistent updates even when Call of Duty 2020 is out? Well, some of my thoughts were that maybe Season 7 is just referring to the big update that Warzone will get alongside Call of Duty 2020's release and isn't necessarily referring to, you know, a lot of content coming to the base game of Modern Warfare. You know, we just don't know. But I do think Modern Warfare will get minimal updates even when Treyarch's new game is out. But I definitely think Warzone, you know, will be the big dog. It'll get the most updates out of everything, you know, going forward over the next year or so. Now, these data miners also found more information about the Season 5 intro and the fact that it'll take place within the stadium, which explains why the stadium does look a little bit different as you look at the promo art for Season 4 Reloaded. We've heard so much over the past few months that apparently Stadium will be accessible at some point in the future, and it seems like Season 5 will be that time. So as you can see from the data mine, information about the cutscene taking place inside of the Stadium. We have somebody by the name of Lurch also referenced. It seems like Lurch may be the main operator for Season 5 as well, so hopefully we get some really cool in-game events and big changes to the map over the next few months. We haven't really seen anything new happen to the Warzone map just yet. Hopefully we see new areas, older areas being destroyed, and of course that nuke event which we've all been anticipating for quite some time now. We also have, I think it's a keypad that's now accessible inside of Bunker 11 that we can actually input a code for, so I think we're very damn close to something happening with that damn nuke. It's kind of taken a little while, which has kind of killed the hype a little bit in my opinion, but hopefully when it does happen, it's not underwhelming whatsoever and truly is something special for the Call of Duty community and something special for the marketing of Call of Duty 2020. Maybe that's why the event has taken so damn long to happen. They're essentially waiting for Call of Duty 2020 to get announced before they do this live event since it may be tied into that storyline. So Activision might be like, yeah, we can't really do the live event yet because Treyarch has to finish up what they're doing with their next game first and get it marketed properly. Who knows what's happening here? But data miners also found information about some newer maps coming to Modern Warfare as well. We have a map known as Oil Rig, which funny enough was actually a scrap multiplayer map from the original Modern Warfare 2. Maybe that's going to be making a comeback at some point for the new Modern Warfare, right? That'd be a great opportunity to kind of bring that map back from the dead, essentially. So I'm looking forward to that. They also have information about two maps known as Drainage and Cornfield, which sound like new maps. They don't sound like remakes at all, but of course we could be wrong about that. But the thing is, right, there are already too many damn maps in the files for the new Modern Warfare. So either they're saving all these new maps for the sequel to this game that'll come out in 2021, right? Modern Warfare 2, or the new Modern Warfare 2, I should say, or they somehow have a plan to continuously drop, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of new maps inside of the new Modern Warfare, even when Call of Duty 2020 is out. I don't think that's the case. I really do feel like, you know, the next Modern Warfare game will be extremely similar to the current Modern Warfare we have. So they could just, you know, plop those maps over to the next game, kind of port them over somehow, since the games will probably be on the same engines anyway. So who knows what's happening there, but I certainly don't think Call of Duty 2020 is getting pushed back at all. I feel like the world will literally have to end before Activision would say, okay, we have to delay this game, you know, past December. They're going to want those Christmas sales, but at the same time too, you know, the Call of Duty franchise is going through so many changes right now, right? It, it's, it's crazy. And I think this could be the first time where Activision says, look, the game's really not that ready. Modern Warfare and Warzone are currently very successful. Let's just take advantage of that and just double down on Modern Warfare right now. Continuously update it for a while and just push back Call of Duty 2020 until 2021. I don't think it's likely, but I think it is possible at the very least, considering how big Warzone is right now, right? There's so much money being made to the point where Activision could actually revise their entire schedule for the Call of Duty franchise going forward. But let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section. This has been DK Dynamite. Frank Woods coming as an operator into Modern Warfare at some point within Season 5. Again, there is a very slim chance that maybe they don't cross over the story lines between Black Ops and Modern Warfare and Wolves will kind of just be in there as like a marketing ploy similar to Captain Price being in Blackout last 
last year. But based on the storyline of Verdance, the Cold War, the bunkers, it does seem like this is really hinting towards some really big storyline that will be unfolded over the next few months or so, which I'm looking forward to. I think I'll care more about this new Modern Warfare reboot if it's connected to Black Ops. And the reason why is because I've said it from the beginning. I've kind of had a bad taste in my mouth about Modern Warfare considering it's a reboot. I feel like they could have at least done a sequel to Modern Warfare 3, a spinoff of some sort, or at least a prequel to the original Modern Warfare featuring Captain Price. I was never able to understand why a reboot was necessary for the Modern Warfare franchise, but if the reboot was necessary because it allows for a crossover with Black Ops so that it's kind of one continuous story going forward thanks to Warzone, then I'm game for that. I'm totally down to see what they end up doing creatively with the story going forward, right? Essentially, Chair could be releasing games that serve as prequels to whatever story Infinity War is telling in the present with Modern Warfare. So, really looking forward to it. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everyone.